Hello everyone and welcome to my Polish cuisine. Today I will be making uh, the famous favorki or hrushciki, however you want to call them, but in English we call them angel wings. So the ingredients are 250 grams of all-purpose flour, four egg yolks, three tablespoons of sour cream, pinch of salt, I have powdered sugar here, so we're gonna sprinkle them once they're fried. And also the most important is the spirito, so which is a grain alcohol. And we're gonna need about a tablespoon of that one. And you're gonna need a board, of course, to work on. You're gonna need a pin to roll it out with. I have this to cut them with. I have my thermometer for the oil. The oil needs to reach a temperature of about 180 degrees or 360 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna use these to put, to take them out actually, to remove them. That's the easiest way. And another thing we're gonna need is a pan with the oil in it. And I'm gonna use canola oil a little plate on the side uh, lined with paper towel so you can drain these on and of course you're going to use a mixer i have this mixer and then i'm gonna sift the flour through here and the attachments of course so i'm gonna use this one at first and then to knead this dough i'm gonna use the hook so that's about it for whatever we need. So let's get to work. Okay, so first thing is we're gonna sift our flour. And do it little by little. sifted. Place the pinch of salt. Also add the four egg yolks. And the sour cream. And now let's put this attachment on here so we can combine the ingredients together. But that only takes a few minutes. Now the dough, dough is um, formed, somewhat it forms, so this is how it should look. It crumbles in your hand, and I've placed a hook on there, and also I'm going to add the alcohol in here right now. And if you can't have alcohol, just add vinegar, the same amount. Okay, so let's mix this, mix this until it forms into a ball. If the dough is too thick, we can also add an additional tablespoon of sour cream. And mix again. Now the dough has formed into a ball. So what I'm going to continue to do is knead it in the mixer or by hand you can do that as well knead it in the mixer for another five minutes while the dough is still kneading about two more minutes left i'm gonna go ahead and prepare uh, the pan so i'm using this it's sort of like a wok but it has a narrower bottom but um it's bigger on the ends so therefore, I'm gonna use um, less oil. And all you really need is just enough oil to, to cover the bottom and so that they can actually submerse in. And put it over 
I would say medium to high heat until it reaches, reaches that temperature of uh, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the dough is ready. As you can tell, it is very elastic, it is soft, and you don't need to pound with it like with a roller or do anything with it. As long as you have that mixer, it does the work for you. But if you don't, then it's an excellent idea to um, use your hands and, and just kind of make sure that you do this when we're kneading the dough with the palm of your hands. And this process can take about five minutes, but it's mostly sanitary to do it in the mixer. So let's cut this into two pieces and we're gonna roll it out. So this dough will never need any flour underneath it, nor will you have to use any flour because if we use the flour for this, it'll burn in the oil really quickly. And that's one of the reasons I also don't use any sugar in there. It'll burn really quickly. So put the other one under paper towel or cover it with something of plastic while we're rolling this one out. So the dough is pretty thin, about two millimeters. And basically, the thinner the dough, the crispier they will be. So I like my dough to be pretty thin. And as you can tell, it didn't stick. To the roller it didn't stick to the board or my hands so this is a perfectly uh, made the dough now what we're gonna do is use the cutter I like to use the ends as well rather than wasting it just flip it over like this and then we'll put it aside on a cotton cloth This is how it looks. Depends how fancy you want to get with these. You can cut them at different angles, shape them differently. You can also do something, something like this. There you go. You can also use these little ones to test your oil. It's hot if you don't have a thermometer. 
just drop this in it'll come back to the top so you know that the oil is ready And continue with the process and when checking for the temperature you can use one of these this I have on Celsius right now so we don't want it to go over 180 is now about 175 176 177 9 there's 180 so once we place this little piece of the dough in here you'll you can see that this is coming up to the surface and that's how we know that this is ready. So we're gonna put our first batch in. So let's put our first ones in. And they will probably be in there for about 30 seconds. That will decrease the temperature of the oil as well. And then we'll turn it Oh, they are still frying. They, I just turned them to the other side. So once you take them out, put them on a paper towel like this. If you want them a little more browned, do so. And we'll let them sit here for a little bit. And then once they're cooled, we're going to sprinkle them with the powdered sugar. Now, as you can tell, the oil is not being burned so i can continue to fry these and right here i already have some made so we're gonna have to take these out sure to put them on a cotton cloth and this is my second batch so just make sure that this dough is rolled out pretty good so they come out really thin I can tell that this is a little too thick, but on this end, it's a little thinner. So make sure that it's all even. Okay, and here we go with the cutter. not sticking to the board still even though this is my second batch of those it will never stick once the dough is made this way and you can stretch them a little bit before you flip this and through.
hold these and just wanted you to see how well the dough has been risen because they have those little pouches on them. And then what you want to do is just cover them with powdered sugar. You can also add vanilla. You can also add vanilla to the dough when you're making it. So if you like this recipe, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.